Hello student, welcome back. This is Vasan Naik from Austec channel. Today I will going to explain you the ninth program of uh, 18 CSL 48 uh, syllabus for the fourth semester of IS and CS student that is MCSC lab syllabus. What is the ninth experiment? The ninth experiment is uh, nothing but uh, display display hello world message using internal UART. Now before uh, going to the program directly first let me explain what is UART uh, and uh, how it works and what are the important registers uh, in uh, UART section of uh, LPC2148 uh, microcontroller based on ARM7. So let us start now. So now UART, UART is nothing but uh, Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter that is a uh, device which is used for uh, serial communication that is it, based, it is it works uh, based on serial communication protocol in which uh, data can be transmitted uh, serially from one end to the other end. So in this case uh, we are going to transmit data to the terminal. So why it is called as asynchronous? Now the question comes up why it is called as asynchronous? Asynchronous means uh, there is no synchronization between uh, transmitter and receiver. The receiver and transmitters are not synchronized with the clock signal. Then how it works? It works based on certain uh, uh, predefined uh, pattern. That is predefined pattern is called as uh, frame structure. So let us see now what is the frame structure of a uh, UART. So this is the frame structure of UART you can see here. So uh, here you can see this is the data but uh, during the, the data contains 8 bits here, 8 or 8 bits here. So this you can see start bit, normally start bit is uh, active low and stop bit is uh, active high. So this entire data, 8 bit data, data is transmitted bit by bit. So this is called a bit by bit protocol. But here this data is enclosed between a start and a stop bit. This helps the receiver to recognize the data pattern. So this is the frame structure of a frame structure of a UART. So this UART contains various registers. The internal circuit of UART Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter in LPC2148 based on ARM7 contains various registers. What are the various registers in UART? That is one is called as U0 LCR, U0 LCR, second one is called as U0 LSR. LCR means a line control register, LSR means a line status register, similarly U0 THR transmit volt register, other than that we have something called as U0 D, DLL, U0 DLL and we have U0 DMM that is device or latch LSB register, device or latch MSB register. Other than that, we have one more register that is called as a buffer register. So we have to see what is line control register, what is line status register, what is transmit holding register, then what is device, divisor latch LSB register, divisor latch MSB register. So now first we will see LPC2148, we know the microcontroller based on ARM7 TDMI, which contains uh, uh, two UARTs. One is uh, uh, it which has got provision for uh, two UART uh, like uh, two uh, for, uh, for connection of a two device uh, through UART, uh, and it has got two internal uh, UART uh, that is UART0 and UART1. UART0 uh, and UART1 identically same except UART1 has got some modem interface. Uh, 
and you are zero pins are normally txt0 and rxtd0 txtd0 means a transmit data and rxtd means a receive data so this is the one thing you have to remember now let me take you to first lpc2148 uh, pin configuration so this is lpc2148 uh, 2148 based on arm7 tdmi board you can see here uh, arm7 tdmi board uh, ARM7 TDMI based on board uh, that is uh, LPC2148 controller and uh, you can see here uh, uh, this controller which has got 64 pins uh, uh, that means uh, 16 pins on both uh, all the sides of the IC in this type of IC is called as surface mounting device IC uh, so in my uh, previous video I have explained uh, uh, regarding the pin configuration that is uh, GPIO configurations uh, how it works uh, please refer this, that video and one more thing you have to remember here each pin has got uh, multiple functionality and uh, two multiple functionality like uh, maximum each pin has got four functionality that is the first it, uh, it can work as a GPIO second it can work as a first alternative second alternative or third alternative so in order to select the particular uh, functionality you have to use uh, fin select register in fin select register you have to configure so for more explanation uh, please refer my video GPIO configuration So now we will see uh, the pin configuration of uh, LPC2148. So here you can see in the diagram. This is a fin configuration of LPC2148 uh, uh, microcontroller. You can observe here pin 0.0, .0 has got four functions that is pin number 19 and uh, pin number 21 uh, 0.1 the first function is uh, it is a gpio second function is uh, txt means uh, transmit data and uh, for pin 0.1 it is uh, receive data receive data so in order to select the second function of respective pin you need to do the changes in pin selector register you know pin selector register what is the purpose of pin selector register refer my previous videos so this is transmit data and this is receive data okay now so in the ARM uh, sorry ARM7 based uh, LPC2 on microcontroller you have two UART UART0 and UART1 so UART1 has got a modem interface UART0 is used normally we use UART0 so in UART0 we have uh, uh, some of the register we need to know the first register is uh, called as line control register second one is line status register buffer register transmit volt register and divisor latch register as I said previously so now first we will see line control register so it is a 8 bit register so line control register uh, the for it is a read write register the format of the line control register is uh, here but uh, we need not to know all the bits first two bit is sufficient for our uh, experimental purpose first two bit is used to define the character length plus that if bit 0 and 1 is 0 0 then character length is 5 bit otherwise it is 6 bit otherwise it is 7 bit otherwise it is 8 bit so uh, in our case uh, you are we are using 8 bit character length uh, that means uh, we have to make this bit 1 and 1 rest of the bits are uh, 0 rest of the bits are uh, 0 this is the one register next one is a uh, line status register line status register indicates uh, whether uh, the data transfer is done or not it is also 8 bit read only register here we are more uh, more uh, concerned about bit 5 and sometimes bit 6 so if the bit 5 is 1 means uh, the, there is nothing in the thr transmit transmit old register that means transmit old register whatever there in the transmit old register has been transmitted to the other side so transmit old register is empty if it is a one zero this means there is a data in the transmit old register 
so when you come to know transmit register is empty when you uh, so when the data is get transmitted to the other end or to the other terminal then transmit old register uh, becomes zero that becomes empty that time uh, this the status of the transmit old register is indicated by this fifth bit that is if the fifth bit becomes one means uh, it has transmitted one character to the other end now the next character will be a dump to the transmit old register that is the use of that is indicated by line status register now transmit old register now u0 thr nothing to confuse u0 means uh, it is the transmit holding register uh, related to u0 uart uh, as i said earlier we have two uart uh, in uh, lpc2148 uh, uh, that is UR0 and UR1. This is related to UR0. U0 is re related to, uh, sorry, T uh, THR is related to U0. Like that, we have THR in U1 also, T uh, LSR in U1 also, LCR also in U1 also. Now, here you can see uh, transmit old register. It is 8 bit write only register. Once the data transmitted to the other end, uh, here the particular bit, as I said, uh, uh, this this will hold the uh, data once the data transmitted to the other end uh, or uh, to the other terminal then it will uh, give information to the lsr then the particular bit in lsr uh, becomes uh, one that is the fifth bit in uh, lsr that is i told in the previous video uh, sorry i told in the last slide uh, this one fifth bit in uh, lsr becomes one this indicates uh, there is no data in the transmit old register Next one is uh, uh, we have something called as a divisor latch register. What do you mean by divisor latch register? See, our the main clock uh, works on the frequency of 12 megahertz, but peripheral works on uh, lesser frequency. So we have to derive the peripheral clock uh, from the main clock. For that, uh, we have formula here: peripheral clock clock uh, divided by desired baud rate into 16. Uh, is nothing but u0 dlm plus u0 dll u0 dll means u0 divisor latch register lsb this is 8 bit then u0 dlm means u0 u0 divisor latch msb this is also 8 bits so total it is 16 bit so you need to calculate this value to in order to calculate peripheral clock of 3 megahertz so now uh, as I said, uh, peripheral clock operates uh, at uh, 4 times lesser than uh, main clock frequency that is around uh, 3 megahertz. Uh, in order to cl calculate this one, uh, so here you take the formula, peripheral clock is 3 megahertz that is, uh, 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 you will get this value divided by our desired baud rate for the transmit and, uh, transmission is uh, 9600 into 16 uh, that will come approximately 19. Uh, now you cannot take fraction and uh, when you convert into hexadecimal that becomes uh, 13. So, what we do is, uh, we will take one value that is DLM value is 0, 0. So, and uh, 0, 0. So, DLL value is uh, 13. So, 0, 0 plus 13 is equal to 13 because we don't know the other value. So, other value will take 0, 0. So, anyway, we will got this 13. We will assign this 13 to DLL. In this way, uh, we will uh, calculate this value and this value should be loaded in this register uh, to access this register uh, DLAB bit of uh, LCR should be I so let me go back to that one uh. here to access that register DLB bit this bit should be high when this bit is high then only you can access that register once you load that value as i said 13 into that register you have to make this bit a zero so these are the important registers now let us go uh, go to directly program so this is the main program uh, you know uh, we have included lpc2148 lpc21 uh, two one uh, uh, related header files uh, because which contains various uh, uh, library files uh, other than that uh, we have included uh, sdd inth uh, because we are using uh, different uh, integers of very various, uh, various format uh, so for that uh, we have included this one also then uh, 
prototype of a uh, function uh, is uh, defined here that is u0 init that means u0 init means uh, that is a prototype of the function uh, the uh, i have written the function u0 init uh, which will initialize uh, our uh, 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 this one u0 then the global variable delay of uh, integer type uh, then uh, pointer of character type uh, then uh, i have taken array of a character and uh, uh, this is assigned to the array now here you can see uh, you will see here what is there in uh, u0 initialization u0 initialization uh, uh, this will the main function of u0 initialization will initialize the u0 uh, for that uh, uh, initialize the u0 means uh, one thing uh, you have to initialize the different pins of u0 uh, uh, that is a transmit and receive pin then uh, you have to initialize uh, lcr register uh, then uh, you have to initialize uh, 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 this one device latch register etc so we'll see you see here pin select 0 pin select 0 is uh, equal to pin select 0 or uh, this one i'm uh, whatever the content here i will or that with the pin select uh, this one this value so how this works pin select 0 is equal to pin select 0 the whatever the content of pin select 0 that is what with this one how this works let us see this one now here you can see see as i said in my previous video pin select 0 is a 32 bit register but it can map only to 16 pins of uh, port 0 that is port 0, 0 to port 0 dot uh, 15 so port 0 dot 0 pin has got four functionality right you know to define the four functionality to make any functionality active at the time uh, we need the combination of this 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. as i said uh, pin 0 dot 0 has got uh, first function Trans, sorry, uh, first function is a GPIO, second function is a transmit data. For that, I have selected 0, 01, not 00. 00. 00. 00 means it works like a general purpose input output. Similarly, pin 0 0.1, this is 0 0.0, 0, 0 0.1, first, uh, second function is a receive data. 0. Uh, 0. Here, so I have selected the particular bit in the pin selector register, this is a 0, 01. So this is pin selector this is pin select zero register this is map to this is map to uh, pins of a port zero that is pin 0, .0 to 0 0.0.15 so each pin uh, we define the functionality of each pin by two bits so here 0 1 means a second function here 0 1 means second function when you write this in an hexadecimal uh, the value of pin select register is 0, 0, 0, 0005 clear yes so that is the value of uh, this one next one is uh, in line control register uh, we are selecting uh, 0 x a 3 0 x a 3 what do you mean by 0 x a 3 so line control register uh, we are selecting 0 x a 3 i have told you already the line control register uh, configuration uh, So line control register, uh, we know 8 bit register 0, 0, 0, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this 2 bits in line control register that is bit 0 and bit 1 is used to define the character length and we are using this is 1 and 1. Means 1 and 1 means it is a 8 bit character. Then last bit uh, you have to make it 1 uh, in order to enter a value to divisor latcher, divisor latch register you have to enter some value in the divisor latch register to derive peripheral clock so now this becomes uh, the value becomes in uh, hexadecimal this becomes uh, 83 so this is the value 83 now in uh, divisor latch uh, msb 00 as i said earlier and divisor latch lsb 
divisor latch LSB it is 0 x 6 1 we have calculated this one this value 0 x 6 1 after that uh, we have to make LCR resistor uh, 0 3 0 3 means what after adding this uh, after adding this uh, value to the divisor latch resistor you have to make uh, D lab bit of LCR is equal to 0 D lab bit of LCR is equal to 0 That is, you have to make this bit is equal to 0. When you make this bit is equal to 0, this becomes a 0, 3. Unless and until you make this bit is 0, your transmit volt register will not work. So, you have to make this bit register is equal to 0. So, this is the initialization section of your 0. After that, main program. Main program, while true initialization then i have taken i have assigned array to the pointer while pointer is not equal to null, null character get the uh, value uh, from the assigned value from the pointer and uh, uh, sorry uh, from the value uh, get the data and assign to thr in the first case uh, it will get uh, here we have lo h it will get uh, and it is assigned to it is assigned to UTHR. Then after that, uh, it is a force increment. Uh, so uh, it will take the next value. Before that, uh, it will check uh, getting before getting next uh, next character that is uh, E. It will check uh, whether LSR register and uh, and with four zero zero is equal to zero. I told you LSR register uh, fifth bit. What do you mean by fifth bit? Uh, let me write here only fifth bit uh, zero zero zero. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this is the zeroth bit, first bit, second bit, third bit, fourth bit, and fifth bit. This fifth bit is equal to one. When this fifth bit is one, that means, uh, see, try to understand. This fifth bit is one means it is what is this value? This is value is equal to now four zero. When uh, the fifth bit is one means. Uh, data is being transmitted and it can get the next character so till this uh, till this uh, to get this status uh, we have provided delay so it will get the one more character so in between you have we have provided some more delays to get the character now the loop will repeat uh, infinitely because we have already here we have already given here while is equal to one while is equal to 1. So, this is the program. Now, let me start kill version 4, microvision kill version 4. So, this is microvision kill version 4. So, let me open the new project, new microvision project. So, I will give the name for the project is uh, VD, something like this, uh, save and I will select here NXV device, in NXV device uh, LPC2148, LPC2148, select this one, you need startup, uh, startup file because you are executing the code in uh, uh, embedded C, so yes required, yeah it has created the target. So, startup.s is there. Now, you have to add the file to the source group. Let me add the file. Close. So, this is the file. This is the file I added. So now save this file already saved <coughs> after this uh, set the settings for uh, target go to option for target and set the settings device select LPC2148 target in a target better to select uh, use micro lib this is the settings related to uh, <coughs> kill version then output uh, you have to select enable exa file then uh, listing 
micro C pre preprocessor listings are required. Then uh, link uh, you have to enable this memory layout. So click on OK. After that, click on uh, this one. So build compile zero error zero warnings. <coughs> so zero errors zero warnings and rebuild zero error zero warnings. So now you need to transfer this image. It has created the XI image by name VDAXF. XI file it has created. Now you have to trans uh, transfer this image uh, to LPC2148 controller. That we will see demonstration directly attached to this video. Before that, uh, we will try to debug uh, this. Uh, <coughs> go to debug. Debug session is on. In debug session, go to view, go to serial window, click on UART1. So when you click on UART1, UART1 window is open. Now you run the program. So run at once, run F5, run at once. Click on this one. And here you can see, I am simulating this program. You will see actual demonstration also. Hello world is it is displaying continuously hello world in this way the ninth program works so now we will see the demonstration of this program by using lpc2148 microcontroller kit hello student you will see the demonstration of a ninth experiment that is to display hello world message using internal uart i have already explained you theory part of this one now we will see the demonstration so first we will see the lpc2148 microcontroller based on arm7 this is lpc2148 microcontroller based on arm7 and this is the kit for that one and we have connected lpc2148 microcontroller based on arm7 to the pc by using cable USB to serial interface cable. Now let me open the program. This is the program. This is the program for a UART. So I have directly opened the program. You can see here this is the program open. So I have already explained you the, how the program works. So let me execute this one. Before executing, you have to add this one to the source group. Let me add this one to the source group. So it's added. So zero errors and zero warnings. I'll compile and build it. So now, now here, how it works, we will see, already XR file is created, to create the XR file, you should know what end of settings you have to do in target, so right click, click the target, click on option for target, and here you, you have to select the device, you have to select the target, so target 12 megahertz and you have to enable, use microlib, and output uh, you have to enable create XR file and listing C preprocessor listing is required other than that uh, linker you have to enable this one after that once this is done click on compile build rebuild so it has created the XR file based on project name that is URT23 so now after this, once the XR file is created, I will open Flash Magic. The Flash Magic is used to transfer XR file from this system to this uh, microcontroller. From this system to this uh, microcontroller. So, for that, we are using uh, Flash Magic. In Flash Magic, you have to select the device. COM port is COM3. We know this one and baud rate is 9600 then after that uh, you have to select the particular file so in my case the file is uh, you are 23 
so i have selected this file then i will click on a start so this will copy so now it has copied ur23.exa file to the uh, microcontroller now after that we will open terminal to open terminal go to tools terminal and uh, here you have to select the particular port and you can see a message hello world it is continuously to the display hello world so this is a program to transfer a string by using lpc2148 controller